Hello. Hello, Stephen. Hello, Hugh. Hello, New York audience. It's very nice. Uh, yeah. Very excited. No, it's lovely. Lovely to be back in this uh, freezing cold meat locker. <laughs> you're, you're welcome. Well, I've wanted to interview for you for a long time. Never had a chance to. I'm a big fan. Thank you very much. I, I, Most welcome. I, I've admired you from afar. When okay. very in the small hours of the, the night in, in England, when I'm very drunk, you seem really good. Um, <laughs> and... The drunker you get, <laughs> the funnier I am. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. You're marvelous. So, oh, so are you. Yep. No, so right, are right, you. Right, so are you. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Jeremy Thorpe, who you are playing there. Um, first of all, a very interesting role for you to take. I have never seen Hugh Grant with bad hair. <laughs> I didn't think we had the technology to give you bad hair. Because <laughs> you have fantastic hair. Maybe in Cloud Atlas you had bad hair. In the yeah, future. I, yeah, yeah, I had no hair at all. Uh, oh, yeah. I was a cannibal. Oh, I, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Jeremy Thorpe, for Americans, we don't know who this guy, who was he, and what makes this scandal so very English? Yeah, well, so it was a big thing in England. In the, in, when I was growing up, uh, this thing was gradually developing. And uh, What he, year are we talking? Well, 60s and 70s, but mainly 70s. And he was uh, one of our top politicians, absolute member of the establishment, the leader of the Liberal Party. Um, married man, child, uh, very well connected, and he harboured apparently this secret, which was that he was gay and that he'd had this one lover um, way back who sort of stalked him and threatened to expose him. And in the end, uh, Jeremy Thorpe became so desperate, wanting to protect his career and his party and his marriage and everything, that he, he took out a very English, very amateurish hit on this guy. And, uh, like to get him murdered? Yeah, and it was just done very, very badly. Well, you know, he, he, he said to a friend, I, th I think we should kill him. And the friend said, right, right, I'll sort that out. And spoke to another friend who spoke to another friend who spoke to another friend. And in the end, they found this sort of drunk, out-of-work airline pilot with a 1911 Luger pistol with, that jammed on the night, and he missed the guy, and he shot the dog instead. And um, <laughs> it was just about as far from Goodfellas as you can imagine. Uh, but, but very English, and, and it ended up in a trial. It was the trial of the century at the Old Bailey in London. He was your OJ? Well, he was in more ways than one, because... Not to give it away, all right, I will. He got off. Uh, <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> <laughs> we can look it up, we can Google it. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it's hard to I got the whole of Amazon thinking, well, he just blew the whole series now, no one's <laughs> going to watch it. Um, but it, that is a historical fact, and so I haven't given too much away. But he got off, but in a very OJ-ish kind of way. He, everyone thought, I, now I have to be careful about what I say about OJ, I suppose. I, anyway, people wondered... He's a big if, fan. He watches every people night. People wondered if it was... Uh, they wondered if it was the correct verdict. People, he he was never allowed does. back into public life. All right. Yeah. So we had to bleep out a little bit of that clip. Um, uh, I assume that there are some uh, scenes where you're in, in flagrante delicto with, with, your, with your lover. I am. Uh, yes. Which was sinister in itself. Uh, ben Wishaw plays the part, and I'd, I'd literally just done Paddington 2 with him playing the bear. Um, <laughs> so. <laughs> it didn't feel right somehow to. Uh, Anyway, I, I, you know, there, I, yeah, there are scenes, you know, with yeah. me entering the room with a... Famously, this all happened with a jar of Vaseline. Do you remember Vaseline? And um, a towel. Yes. And uh, one thing leads to another, and it, it's... Um, yeah, it's all there in the movie. Have you watched it with your family? I haven't watched it with my small children. Um, <laughs> they, they prefer Paddington. Uh, <laughs> and I did have to watch it with my 89-year-old ex-military father, who... Uh, I go round on Sunday nights, and he said to me, "Now, now you're in this buggers film," and I said, uh, "Yes, that's that's right." He said, "Well, I'm, let's watch it," and I said, "No, Dad, I don't, I, you're not going to like this." And he said, "No, no, no, I'm a very supportive father. I want to watch it. I've got a television set upstairs. If you show me how to work it, we'll watch it together." <laughs> so we went up and turned on this dusty old TV, and uh, yes, I had to watch me with the Vaseline and the towel um, <laughs> with my father, and <laughs> he said. <laughs> He, he, he ended up agreeing with my children. He preferred Paddington, too. Um... <laughs> All right. Yeah. But for general audiences, 
Fantastic. For the general audience, for gen everyone should watch for it. For general audiences, uh, it's been a, an enormous, ridiculous success in Britain. Uh, and, I, yes, I mean, uh, I'm, I feel faintly smug about it. Now, <laughs> you, you've, walk, you've worked opposite some incredible co-stars, uh, Meryl Streep, Julia Roberts, but I would like to ask you about one of your co-stars. Um, this was in the film Two Weeks Notice. You played next to this promising young actor. Um, that's you. That's you. That's him. Um, what was it like uh, to work opposite this particular performer? Well, you know... <laughs> He was very civil, uh, and he, without me asking, uh, subsequently I just got a message saying Donald Trump has made you a member of his golf club, uh, which was... Which is he, like, you just got a message? I just got a message. And I, I like a free gift, so I went and I played there. It was, it was a good course. Um, and given that, and given that he, was, uh, he acted with me, uh, protocol, uh, being well brought up, I, uh, demands that I can't, I can't be negative about him. I, I'm never negative about people I work with in case they're negative about me. Um, <laughs> At least, I'm not publicly, I am. I stab them in the back, behind their back. Yeah. But I don't... Yeah. Yeah. So I can't really... I, I feel confused and conflicted in this conversation. That's because, well, I will that's say because this. you don't live here. <laughs> I do, I do... <laughs> I do... I do live in the world. You do live in the world? I do oh, live good. in the world, and I will say, I think he's the only person I've ever acted with who's, who's gone on to threaten world peace. But, uh, right. Although Sarah Jessica, as I sometimes think. Um, <laughs> yeah. Well, lovely to meet you. Please it's very come nice to again. meet you. Thank Look you how much. happy you made the people. They're drug daily. <laughs> Thank you so much. A very English scandal debuts on Amazon Prime this Friday. Hugh Grant, everybody. We'll be right back.